Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to hibernate a Linux system. So why do we really hibernate any system at all? So before knowing it, we should answer one question. What are the possible ways to keep state of system in in the user's absence? So let's say you're going out somewhere for hours or days maybe. So one way is to keep the system running for long period of time which can eventually lead to fire or if not fire then it it can become very hot and in your absence you don't know what is happening with it and sec in second option is to hibernate a system so by hibernation we mean that the data the entire state of the system will be saved inside your hard disk which will eventually save it will take minimal power from power supply to keep the data in place and whenever you will come back you will turn the computer on and the data will be restored or the state will be restored so let's see how we really do that first of all we will open terminal and we will type sudo space pm hyphen hibernate and then we will enter the password so now the hibernation process will start so it will start transferring the data from RAM to the hard disk in the swap space so now the computer is restoring from the hibernation process so we just switched on the computer so during the process of hibernation, when it starts, the, st the screen will blacken and the process takes about 20 seconds or nearly 2 minutes depending on the number of applications you have opened. And it takes sort of same time in restoring uh, from hibernation state as well. So right now the screen is a bit reddish. So it's just transferring the data to the RAM which will open in a few seconds so now we can see the cursor and few dots and now the complete system so this is how we left the system and after coming back after a few days or few hours now we can see the same state without any changes so now we have saved lots of power and time as well because these number of applications takes time to open so this is how hibernation process saves power saves time and it's perfect to use thank you for watching the video